Hi guys, Yasas que Carlos Cesta to another episode of Dimitra Dishes. Today we're making a zucchini omelet that's very popular in Crete, which is the part of Greece that my family is from. It's made with basic and simple ingredients, comes together in like 15, 20 minutes, so you could serve it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. It's so delicious, so refreshing, and again, very easy to make. Let's get started. So we're gonna begin by prepping all of our ingredients. I have four scallions and they've been washed really well. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice these up. If you don't have scallions, you can use a leek or um, even a small onion. You can just go ahead and finely chop it. And we're gonna use the whole thing. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, the white parts. This recipe moves quickly, so you just wanna make sure that you have everything ready to go. I also have some fresh parsley. This has also been washed. I'm just gonna finely chop that. Uh, you can use mint or basil instead. And then I have two zucchinis. They look kinda sad. They've been in my fridge for probably a week. I've been waiting to do this recipe. And one thing or another kept popping up, so I didn't get to it in time, but they're still good enough for an omelet, so we don't waste anything. We're just gonna cut them into rounds, or you can cut them into half moons. And that's ready to go. And then I have two tomatoes. They're nice and soft. I'm just gonna just roughly chop those or dice them. If you don't have um, these kind of tomatoes, the bigger tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. And that's it. All the ingredients pretty much are ready. We also, we're also gonna be adding some feta and eggs. Now we're gonna move on to the frying pan. So I have a large frying pan that's heating over a medium uh, high heat. I'm gonna add the scallions to it with a little bit of olive oil, about three to four tablespoons or more. You need a 10 to 11 inch uh, round skillet, frying pan, whatever. And you just wanna cook the scallions just for a few minutes until they're nice and soft. Not that long because we're also gonna go in and add um, the zucchini, so you don't want everything to be overcooked. Mm, they're smelling really good. They haven't even been in there for a minute, but I'm gonna go in and add the zucchini and I'm just gonna cook it until it's fork tender. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt and some black pepper. So it should take about three, four minutes. So the zucchini is looking good. It depends on the material of your frying pan if they're gonna get any color on them and traditionally they are made with some color on them. This frying pan for some reason doesn't get hot enough but anyway, it's still gonna be delicious. Now I'm gonna add the tomatoes in See how fast this goes? And you don't want the tomatoes to completely break down. We're just gonna just warm them through. We don't want them to turn into sauce. So while the tomatoes are in there, we're also gonna season them like we do all the time, every step of the way. A little bit of salt. While the tomatoes are cooking down a little bit and softening up, we're just gonna get the eggs ready. So we're gonna need six eggs for this omelet. And I don't do that egg white thing. It's the whole egg or nothing for me. You can, if you guys wanna do it with just egg white, you do you, but I feel like you just don't get all the flavor and then it kinda of sticks. So we do the whole egg around here. I'm gonna add the parsley, some salt, black pepper. I'm gonna give this a nice mix and then I'm gonna add the feta cheese. That is looking good. Then I'm gonna crumble in about four ounces of feta cheese. So the tomatoes are starting to soften up a little bit. You don't want them to completely melt. At this point, we're just gonna add the eggs. And I'm just gonna mix it just a little bit. Reduce the heat to medium low. Cover the pan and let it cook until the eggs are set. It should take about eight to 10 minutes and then it's gonna be time to serve it.
So the omelet took about 10, 12 minutes to be fully cooked. I do leave it a little slightly runny on top. The vegetables do release more water and it's gonna look like it's not fully cooked. But if you cook it a little too much, it's, it tends to get like spongy. Ever had those omelets where they're kind of dry and spongy? That's because they've been overcooked. So then you wanna just take it off of the heat and keep it covered for about five, six more minutes. That's gonna help it release from the pan easily and it is gonna to continue to cook a little bit more without it getting overcooked. Then how you would serve this, if you're doing this just for your family, you can slice straight out of the pan. If you're serving it at a brunch or just for, for company or whatever, you wanna be a little fancy, you can take out a nice wooden cutting board and just put it on top. It should slide right out of the pan if your pan is non-stick or if, it, if you let it sit a little bit. This is another delicious dish that tastes good at room temperature, so it's perfect to take along to the beach. This actually reminds me of Greece. My aunt always packed us little goodies to take with us to the beach, and a lot of times it's like frittatas like this one lots, with lots of vegetables. It's a great way actually to use up leftover veggies. It's not just for zucchini. Whatever you have on hand from the day before, just throw it in your omelet. Greeks also like to use leftover Greek salad and make an omelet out of it the next day. It's so delicious. Time for the taste test. Mm. I can eat this any time of the day. So much flavor, so refreshing. The veggies are perfectly cooked. They're not mushy or anything like that. The egg tastes so good. You get your protein, your veggies, and everything in one meal, and it's all ready in no time. I guess 20, 25 minutes is all you need. The recipe with all the exact measurements is on the website, DemetriusDishes.com. Let me know what you guys think and post your recipe requests down below in the comment section. I do read all of them, and I add them to my list, and I get to them one at a time. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.